All right, so today, this is gonna start my series on programming 101. And I'm gonna talk about reps, sets, and percentages. So this chart, you can easily get it off of online yourself if you want, but since I'm nice, I got it right here on the board. It's Pilipin's chart, he was a Russian guy, and what they did is they used this on Olympic weightlifters, but since I'm probably be talking more on the powerlifting, just kind of average gym goer side, it works fine. All right, so this is gonna keep you safe in the gym. We got percentages here, reps and sets, the optimal and the total range. So basically what this is, you have the 55 to 65% um, with the reps and sets of three to six and the optimal is 24. So what that basically means is somebody will go into the gym and they'll use, um, based off their one rep max, it'll be 55 to 65% and they'll try to get to the optimal uh, rep range. So they can do three sets of um, they can do three sets of eight, and that'll get them to 24. Same thing if you come down to the 90 plus, the optimal is four. So if you do two sets of two, you can get to the four. So right, so it's, you always got to go back to the basics because you can't always center your workout between 80 and 90 and 90 plus because you'll never get anywhere. You have to go back to the basics and you have to build a foundation. So that's why you have the 55, 65% and 70 and 80%. But we'll talk about that later in linear periodization when it comes to um, power, speed, hypertrophy and strength, stuff like that. But that's another video. So basically what this is, it's just telling you that on, this is how to set up your workouts so maybe on Monday, you want to do squats and you want to go heavy. You come down here to 80 to 90%. You see that you got to get, you want to, the optimal is 15. So you can have three sets of five, you know, you can go four sets of four. The optimal is 15, but the total range is 10 to 20. So you don't have to get 15, you can go to 16, but you don't want to go over 20 and you don't want to go over 10. The 10, if you go under 10, it's, it's too, um, you're not getting enough stress on the muscle for that percentage. And if you go over 20, you're getting too much stress on that muscle or that muscle group for that percentage. Same thing with the 90 plus. If you go, if you're doing 95%, there's just no reason for you to do uh, a five by five, 95%. You're not gonna be able to do it. It just doesn't make any sense. And if you are able to do 95%, five by five, then you probably need to go reprogram your workouts. So stuff like this, you can do 90, 90 to 90, 90 plus, and you do a two sets of two, and you get the four. But like it says, it has a total range um, is 10. If you want, you can do, you know, heavy, heavy singles. When it's like maybe closer to a competition time, just get heavy singles, get the four or go over four. But you don't want to, the closer you get to the higher end of these numbers, you're putting too much stress on your muscle for that percentage and that reference. All right, next video, we'll talk about linear periodization.